you, you stressed the balance between magnesium and calcium and said there's not really a great test for magnesium. How does somebody know where their balance is at? Is it something that they can feel or you know, how did they know? Well, one thing we're trying to do, a group of us who've begun the magnesium movement, <laughs> and that's through the Nutritional Magnesium Association, we're trying to um, get a company that has already has uh, created a magnesium ion testing electrode. Uh, the Alturas, Burton and Bell Altura um, researchers that have um, produced a thousand magnesium research studies, they created this electrode to do their research and they found it, you know, an, a fantastic tool to test magnesium deficiency. Then they give people magnesium and retest and their symptoms were gone and their levels were up. We're trying to get this test in all the labs that we can. So that's, that's one important thing that we're doing. The, um, the test that's available now is just a serum magnesium test. The problem with that is it, you use your bloodstream you know, to dip your dipstick in, and only 1% of the total body magnesium is in the blood. Most mm. of it is in the muscles. Some of it is in the bones. So what that 1% in the blood will do is always stay normal to protect mm. the heart. And the only time it's going to show low is when you're really severely low. So most of the time, especially when you go to hospital and you're under severe stress, you maybe have a heart attack, your body has just shunted all kinds of magnesium out of your muscles into your bloodstream. Your blood looks good. You may have cramping and twitching and, and look like you are magnesium deficient, but nobody's going to notice that. They just look at the blood results.